gentlemen, welcome to a special Mulch Madness edition of the one, the only, OSBN. I'm Mr. Guzma, here with my co-host, Mr. Kenny. Great to be back with you. I'd love to be here. Boyd, can you tell us a little bit about this special tournament we're hosting? So we are excited to announce today our fourth annual Penny Wars Challenge. Throughout the month of March, sorry, our, our producer is, has left the room. Um, the O'Neill community will come together in a March Madness inspired Penny Wars challenge to raise money for charity. For those that have been around the block, these Penny Wars are always sure to raise the competitive fires around campus. Charlie, as an avid participant of the Penny Wars, can you give our audience an explanation of the rules? Well, of course I can. Let me break this down for you. Penny Wars lo works like this. Each classroom slash advisory will have their own jug to collect money. They will gain points by adding pennies and bills to their jug. Feel free to lower other classrooms slash advisories points by adding silver coins to another group's jug. So in essence, pennies and bills are positive points. Any silver coins, dimes, nickels, or quarters are negative points. There will be a total of three rounds this year. To begin, each team will, has been placed in a region. Each region is representing a different charity that they are working to raise money for. Round one will have teams compete against the team in their regions, and it will run from this Friday through March 23rd. Afterwards, the top two teams in each region will advance to the Elite Eight, at which point they will be randomly placed into a bracket to compete against a single team from March 23rd through the 24th. For a chance to advance to the Final Four, the Final Four will pit or final teams against each other from March 27th through the 29th, with a winner being announced at the all-school pep rally on March 30th. Thank you, Mr. Kuzma. Welcome. Well then, without further ado, let's see where our teams will begin their Penny Wars journey. So first in Region 1, competing on behalf of the more you Humane call Society. Special guest? I was getting there. Okay. I'd actually like to call in a special guest to read the advisor's names. We have a uh, our producer, Mr. Mr. Philip, Philip Hancock. Hancock. We have Daigle, Sowell, Bonifer, Carrick, Amato, Heath, Measle, Blair, Brace, Wilder, and Elmore. Thank, Thank you, Philip. Thank you, Mr. Hancock. Thank you, sir. In Region 2, competing on behalf of the Habitat for Humanity, we have Vest, Davison, Andersley, and Senior Buddies, Decoto, Copeland, Pavlovich, Williamson, Poole, Peel slash Gemmo. Nope, that's Peel slash Wenzel. Can you, that's yeah. my, it's actually my okay. advisory. Okay, Peel we, slash Wenzel, my bad. If we get that one. Gemmo. Right. Just do region three, okay? So in region three, competing on behalf of the food bank, we have Moore, Thomas, Crawford, Harlow, Hardy, Weeks, Birdsall, Goodwin, Callahan, and Viswani. And finally, in Region 4, competing on behalf of the Coalition of the Sandhills, we have Cutler, Chloe Jingle, Duffy, and Senior Buddies, Van Dolan, Coates, Watkins, Fish slash Warnell, Ravenscroft, and Smith. So, the brackets are set. And I don't know about you, but I think this could be one of our best years yet. A lot of strong competitors out there. Bye, boy. Please wrap this up. You Falcon faithful. It's time to search under those couch cushions. Behind the bed, in the car, and in the washing machine. Oh. Hunt down those coins. Help your classroom or advisory win the 2023 Penny Wars Challenge and be crowned champion of the world. Thank you. Falcons fly together. Oh!